Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on this uh, when we are in the bullet time we see some movement of the camera. It's not just uh, following the bullet without any movement. It's just a little rotate around the bullet and also moves closer to the bullet as well. So that's what we are going to work on today. Here is the demonstration again. So every time we shoot, there is uh, some difference in the bullet camera. It's not always the same. They start in rotations and the locations are a bit different. Alright, so let's see how to do those things today. Right, so at the moment when I do a headshot, you can see uh, the camera just follows the bullet in a steady manner without having any, any kind of uh, moment effect like rotating around the bullet to anything else so to add some movement to the camera while following let me open the uh, sniper blueprint all right before that uh, here we have only uh, set the uh, toggle bullet can enable part we haven't actually implemented the disable part yet so at the moment what happens is when I right click and go into the aiming mode and if I shoot and only if I right click again uh, the character goes back to the usual camera mode. So we need uh, first before implementing the camera movement around the bullet I think I should uh, detach from the bullet camera and re-enable the normal camera I should implement that so here in the false path right first I'll add a boolean variable which says if we are in the bullet camera mode so bullet cam By default it should be false here set bullet cam to true and here if I get a false node let me add another branch if bullet cam is true we should uh, disable the bullet camera so here I'll first set bullet M to false and then if uh, also I'll set global time dilation back to 1 and also what else I'll again call on the character aim down This should again re trigger to reset the character aiming location and add the reticle back to the scope image back to the UI. Right, and after that, we should connect to the output, which is over here. Right. And also here, if we have, yeah, this part will take place only if we call this toggle bullet cam macro with the false input. But if we call it with the true input, after this point, I'll actually don't need to set it again here. Uh, all I have to do is just connect it right 
to you. Okay. Shall we test now? Right. Back to the normal mode, but we are not aiming. Here we should call aim down with the draw. Uh, yeah. Right. Now everything is working fine. And also one more thing that I forgot to mention last time. I have changed this toggle aim function so earlier I had just connected this pressed to aim down and with the true to enable aiming and release to uh, disable aiming so here now I have uh, implemented it as a toggle so that at the first time when I press right click we go into the aiming mode and even when I release nothing happens if I press again it will uh, toggle the aiming down state the reason to do that is because while I am in the bullet time mode, uh, if I release the right click, it just break the bullet time sequence. So I kind of want to do with that. All right now, let's get back into that camera issue, uh, rotating the camera around bullet part. So for that. I think I'll add a custom event. What should I call it? Let's call it for cam. For camera, yeah. So here I all I need to do is dynamically change in the length of the spring arm in the bullet time so that the camera will go closer to the bullet and maybe further away from the bullet and also add some local rotation right so to do that here let's add a timeline add timeline let's call it spring arm instead of calling play I'll connect this to call from play from a start if I double click here let's add a new flow track and I'll enable this ignore time frame because when we are in the bullet time we have a slow time dilation and so it kind of hard to know what exactly the values we need for that to have so it would be easier for us to figure out like this five means just five seconds regardless of the time dilation so here let's add the zero or value point three maybe not point three like point six at the end let's have one <coughs> let's set these to auto both auto and add another curve here some effect like this okay this should be enough for us to test now let's go back here and according to this new track value let me change this what should we call value. right So what's the bullet spring arm length we have 100 uh, yeah let's get a reference to the spring arm <coughs> set length 
draw the term length as uh, yeah let's multiply this value with let's say uh, we are going to have values like 0.3 as well and also like 1.5 so therefore instead of 100 let me put 300 right now we should see oh wait we have to call that event from here from where actually let's call it from here no go it from here oh camera right now let's test <coughs> oh, nothing happening ah it does <coughs> we did Go closer. So maybe how long do we spend in zero point zero five time dilation and we spend in the bullet time of zero point zero five. Point two, like only four seconds and then another some amount here another half a second let me make it point one and move this like this so we should see some change a bit earlier add some rotation to the spring arm as well mm, for that here set relative rotation <coughs> first What's the relative rotation we have? Relative and zero. Okay. Let me split this. Multiply this again by let's say thirty and add two. Than eighty and connect. Now let's see what happens. Right. Okay. So in order to have a different angle every time we can have a new float value um, uh, no actually not a float value I think it would be easy if we have just a, a rotator It should be 
a rotator and then let's set it at the beginning and rotator oh i'm not sure how that works random rotation from spray that's also not sure so let me split this and um, float in way that's much clear minus 30 no let's first try only with the no, it doesn't have to try x and y let's use minus 30 to plus 30 some value and for the float let's say another render float but uh, 120 to 270 then here get the initial rotation split use the yo Let's see what happens. Oh, that's not going to work. Right. So I guess that comes from what? Pitch. Yeah. So let's change this to minus five to plus five. And let Let's disconnect this for now. We get a different look every time we shoot. Now here, instead of multiplying this by 30, let's multiply this. By, let's say, 5. bit okay Feels a bit like this. Change is a bit fast. Okay. 
that's much better also uh, uh, you may notice like it would be better here we see a blood splatter uh, blood particle so it would be better if the particle moves with the head so I think in here uh, in the emit bullet we shoot and we get this outed component and outed bone name so let me just connect these two inputs here outed component and outed bone name and instead of using a spawn system at location let's use spawn system attached And let's see what happens. This should be the template. Scale <coughs> location should be whatever this location. Attach to component and attach point name. Let's just connect this and see. Notation is hmm. whatever the rotation I have used here. And we'll auto destroy. Either this will give me an error or it will work. First, let me show. Oh, it's not working when I shoot here. Let's see what happens when I shoot ahead. Hmm. I couldn't see blood. Right. Oh, keep relative offset. Keep word position. Now I can see, and it moves with the head, most importantly, see, right, okay, so for not hitting the ground, the reason I'm not sure, uh, but anyway, I'm just gonna stop this episode right here, and I'm gonna refine the particles and other effects. For this one like uh, for example when we are in the bullet time we it would be better if we have some depth of field effect or some other effect to enhance the look of it okay so thanks for watching and as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club thanks for watching See you in another episode. Goodbye.